here's a quick look at some jitterbug like transformations. We'll start off with the normal normal jitterbug, just like the triangular jitterbug. So off we go. We'll start off as the octahedron, which is the triangular antiprism. Open it up to the icosahedron, which is like the snub triangular antiprism. And finally open it all the way to the cube octahedron which is the triangular gyro bicoupler. So, see the same transformation here. This is the diagonal version with the two diagons top and bottom. So we start off with the tetrahedron, which is the diagonal antiprism. Open it up to the snub disphenoid, which is the diagonal, snub diagonal antiprism. And all the way to the gyro bifastigian, which is the diagonal gyro bicoupler. And then we also have this square version here. And start off with the square antiprism. Open up a little bit to form the snub square antiprism. And open all the way you know, not too good. Carbon's not too strong on this one. Open all the way to form the square gyro bicoupler. Right. All of these, all of these fall flat from from the when they're in this position here, in the antiprism position. If you turn the two polygons, turn the top polygon by a square by an edge and a half, it'll fall flat. So same on the other side, starting position here, turn it an edge and a half, and it will fold flat. See the same thing on this one? Well, start off flat, turn an edge and a half to open up, and then another edge and a half to fold flat again. On this one, an, an edge and a half is, is exactly halfway around the triangle. So to go from flat to flat, you end up turning the triangle all the way around and you've got point to point, top and bottom, the same in both positions. Here's the, the diagonal version, so oops, that was there. Start in this one, and turn it an edge and a half, fold flat this way, turn it an edge and a half, and it folds flat this way. Uh, these things can also they can also make like side pyramids with the apexes truncated. So this time you have the the, the polygons aligned top and bottom like this, and that these here form wrong way and a bit difficult to do. It. But there you are. That there is actually a pyramid with the top and bottom chopped off. You can do the same. Same with the square version. Here we are. It's like a an, op an octahedron with the top and bottom chopped off. And it doesn't look quite right, but it's the same with this one here. That's actually a uh, a diagonal die pyramid with the top and bottom chopped off. Here are some ten separatives based on based on these models. Uh, let's give this one first. Here's the diagonal version. So it's a bit, it's a bit like this. It's got a, the double thing top and bottom. Let's try and, try and turn it around a little bit so you can see. Here's the triangular version. So this, there's a triangle. Match it with this triangle here. Let's see. And finally, here's the the square version. There's a square there. Match it with a square, square and square. Uh, if you look at the square one here, you can see how. It matches here. So, 
So you've got the square top and bottom, and then oh, I'll leave the other way. And then this one here matches here. This one here matches here, square here. And this model here is the bits that are missing from this model. See if we can turn it and close it a little bit. There we are. You can see that the bits that are missing are in this model. Hopefully. Uh, and here's a here's a here's a larger version of this one. This is the octagonal version. And there is a 10 I've made on it.